person at the till no longer gets your order for you. She takes your order and then you wait in a queue on the screen and then your order is prepared so there is less waste so there's less waste in terms of food and some say it's more efficient and it's more time effective because you're not waiting on one person serving you to get your food just in case the food hasn't been prepared yet so in some ways um, that member of staff and the production staff are being more efficient in terms of getting you your food ready and also cooking your food fresh and making sure that there's less waste in the bin so if we compare these tight operational activities we can see that you know in one way mcdonald's is uh, change is more of a um, efficiency type change to reduce administration costs and to become more efficient and effective adopting operation activities like Taylor scientific approach whereas in comparison to tesco's it's more transformational change i would say which is a different type of leadership strategy um, and direction leadership in terms of transformation motivation to bring bookers and launders into the Tesco's group and also to cut down on the warehouses so briefly <laughs> we can see that when we're answering this question we really need to look at um, firstly talking about what strategy is bringing in some definitions of strategy then you know um, t t talking about uh, Chanda 1962 Andrews 1971 and Myers and Snow uh, 1992 talking about um, what operations are, closed systems and open systems, and then talking about two organisations. One, Tesco, which is the case study. Uh, if you have a different case study, then use that case study. And then talking about um, the uh, uh, um, another company, organisational change, like McDonald's, for example, and then comparing the two. Okay, so I hope that has helped from Mr T in this beautiful day in Berlin at the top of these roof terraces. So just to put this up a little bit more, you can see over here. So hope you've enjoyed today. Many thanks from Mr. Tan.